The next type of abstraction is interface. What it does and what an interface is all about. It says that interface is a reference type in Java. It is nothing but similar to your abstraction where you define all the abstract methods but an interface is much more related to a class. How you declare a class in the similar way you declare an interface. An interface also consists of certain abstract methods. It is nothing but where you inherit or where you bind with your class. It says that a class will implement these interfaces and when a class says that it will implement the interface, it means that a class is signing a contract or agreeing a contract with the interface saying that I will define all the methods that you have declared in your interface. That is what all an interface is all about. Interface it looks similar to a class. It includes all the methods and abstract methods and it also includes certain static or the default methods but these methods are to be defined in your class that is the class which is implementing the interface. But what is the difference between abstraction and interface here and in case of abstraction also the class that is extending the abstract class should define all the abstract methods but may may not define the non abstract methods. Whereas in case of interface it says that the class which will implement this interface should define all the methods. It cannot leave any of the method whether they are abstract or not it include all the methods and in case of interfaces you do not use the abstract keyword to define the methods whereas in an abstract class when you are defining the abstract method you need to use the keyword abstract whereas in case of interface when you are defining the method you do not need to use the abstract keyword because the method themselves or by default are abstract methods. Next it says that writing an interface is similar to your class. How you write a class? Class, class name and then you provide the variables and the methods. Similarly is with the interface you write the interface and the interface name and then the methods that you would want to be defined in your class. Next it says that unless the class that implements the interface is abstract all the methods need to be defined. It is the same concept in your abstract class. If the class that is extending the abstract class should define all the abstract methods until unless they themselves are abstract. Similarly in case of interface if a class is implementing an interface it is supposed to define all the abstract methods in the of the interface until unless the class itself is abstract. But how a class is different to an interface? By now we are saying that a class and an interface is similar to each other but how they are different? In case of a class you can instantiate a class but whereas in case of interface you cannot instantiate that is an abstract classes and an interface cannot be instantiated. Next a class you can create constructors for the class but you cannot create constructor for an interface. These are the two main important things which says that you can create constructor for the class but not for the interface or then the next thing if you are trying to extend the classes you can extend how many classes and when you are trying to implement interfaces how many interfaces can you implement. Can you extend more than one class or not? Can you implement more than one class or not? That is all interface talks about. Now when you want to extend a class how do you write? You write the class class name extends the other class from which you are trying to extend the behavior that is you can extend only one class. But whereas in case of interfaces it allows a multiple inheritance that is nothing but if you have declared number of interfaces you can extend one interface to the other that is I created interface 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 name extends the number of interfaces separated by comma. For an example I have created three interfaces A, B and C. Now this C interface wants to extend the methods of A and B. Similarly how a class can extend from another class. Similarly an interface can extend from another interfaces. So I write interface, interface name that is C extends A comma B. Now when you want to extend a class you use a keyword called extends but now if you want to define the methods of an interface within the class 
then you use the keyword called implements that is you write class class name implements the interface name so now here is the syntax how you declare it says that this is the package java.lang.. asterisk and the semicolon and then you write interface and the name of interfaces and then in the brackets you write the method and any method that you define or that you declare in an interface by default is your abstract method so we have created an example of a person which is an interface and you have certain methods in it and then in the employee class we implement the interface and then define each of its method so let us execute this program in practical to understand how you create an interface how a class implements the interface and then define each of its abstract methods so in this example we shall see how can you declare an interface and what are the certain rules that allow you to write the syntax of an interface so to write an interface we use a keyword called interface and then you provide the interface name it is just similar to how you create a class just that an interface shall or include all the abstract methods that is you can declare the methods but you cannot define the methods in interface those methods declared in an interface must be defined in the class that implements this interface that is we have created here a class called employees which is trying to implement this interface that is in this interface we have created two methods first one is department and the next one is job role so now these two methods are first of all your abstract method first point about interface we need to use the interface keyword in its syntax declaration then in the brackets where you define the methods these methods by default are the abstract methods and an abstract method ends with a semicolon and will not have any body in it third important rule the class that is trying to implement the interface what is the interface persons and to implement an interface we use a keyword called implements so the class which is trying to implement the interface should and must define all the methods that are declared in interface that is we have defined we have just declared two methods department and job role so both of these methods should be defined under this class which is implementing this interface if this class itself is an abstract class then it is not necessary for it to define all the methods so first method we have defined as department and we display something output and then we de have defined a job role and then it displays certain output in this class main method we have instantiated this class and with the help of object reference of this class we call the methods called department and job role which are available in your interface so this class or this interface the interface is just declaring just providing an, an outline of the methods and the class that implements this interface should define what is the purpose of these methods that is interface is saying that we have these methods but what is the role of these methods it will not define whereas in case of a class that implements these interfaces should define what is the purpose of each of this method so let us execute this and it says that department is lnd and the job role is corporate trainer 